when does the Dharakaraka override or overpower Venus in a chart? This is a very uh, skeptical question because the word Dharakaraka and the word Venus, they are very similar. At least most of the people think that they are similar, but they are not. There's, there's a hell or a good lot of difference. <laughs> Considerable amount of difference between these two words, if not a hell lot. <laughs> Which means you can't just say, oh, my Venus is exalted, but Dharakareka is debilitated. So nothing's going to happen. You can't just cancel out each other. You can't just say, all right, one is like a spare tire. Okay, So if one is good, the other one is bad, so everything is neutral, or if both are good, then it's excellent. If both are bad, it's terrible. You can't say like that, right? So, see, you have to understand astrology is a science, and everything in science has a particular meaning assigned to it. So, therefore, you cannot just cancel out or add things like you do in uh, binary mathematics, right? You, you can't do that, okay? So, therefore, you have to understand everything in its right context. So, the Dharakaraka, if it is well placed, wherever, however, with whoever, will give results in a particular area, irrespective of how is Venus placed in your chart. And Venus, if well placed, will similarly give results in a good way, irrespective of how your Dharakaraka is placed. So, it doesn't mean that... Uh, <clears throat> Your uh, Venus is well placed, but your Dharakaraka is not good or not well placed, so you will have a bad, bad life. And it also doesn't mean if your Venus and your Dharakaraka both are well placed, you will have a great, bad life. It doesn't mean that. So there are many parameters that you need to check regarding this, and this is a very difficult topic. But I will make an attempt to make things clear for you, right? So if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your dara karaka venus or marriage or relationships then please go to my website down below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him irrespective of how is your dara karaka or how is your venus what today's question was when does a dara karaka overpower venus so what do you mean over riding or overpowering venus well um, there are two different meanings one is overriding or, or the other one is overpowering but for simplicity let's assume that the meaning of this question is when does dharakarka become more important than venus in a chart okay so you have to understand the word dharakarka is coming from a gemini context not not always, but that's where the root of the word is from. So Dharakaraka is the planet with the least degree in the chart. That's a Jaimini Karaka in the chart. Okay. Now, what does the Dharakaraka mean? Many times I have made many videos on Dharakaraka, but many times people think due to some uh, fake misconception in YouTube that the, the, the Dharakaraka planet shows your spouse. So, for example, if Mars is your Dharakaraka, then people think, oh, my uh, spouse will be very angry, aggressive, very masculine. No, it's not like that. They think, oh, if Mercury is my spouse, then he or she is going to be very talkative or very tech-savvy or very uh, concerned with the finances. No, it is not going to be like Or sometimes people think, if the Dharakaraka, whichever planet it is, if it is placed in a particular sign, then that particular trait will be in your spouse. So, for example, uh, if your Dharakaraka is any, any random planet, but he's placed in the sign of Mars. So, suppose Sun is your Dharakaraka or Jupiter is your Dharakaraka, but he's placed either in Aries or Scorpio, then they again think that yes, because Mars is the dispositor of the Dharakaraka, Therefore, my spouse will be very Martian. Okay, No, it's not like this. Dharakaraka has nothing, literally nothing to do with your spouse. It only has to do with you and your outlook towards relationships. 
that's actually more of venus dara karaka explicitly means what is your experience of relationships at a soul level see you may have a relationship like any relationship for example not only like conjugal relationships even relationship with your friend or with your mother or with your son daughter anybody you are see there the relationships are affecting you at many levels right one is at the physical level you can see somebody talk to them you can touch them or maybe you, if you are angry you can punch them <laughs> although it's not recommended but people do it sometimes in kaliuga but the thing is that physical experience that you are having with somebody is affecting you at a mental level so if you don't like somebody then whenever you see that person you develop hatred or uh, you don't wish to see that person at all then whatever experience that you have at the physical and mental level is also affecting you at the spiritual level so therefore it's very crucial that you do not see the gemini karakas from some mundane uh, perspectives like marriage career and all this you can see them from that perspective but don't see them as external entities like don't say that darakaraka is the spouse or the dispositor of the darakaraka is the spouse no not in a thousand years or never so the thing is how have you evolved yourself spiritually in relationships how how do you see at a spiritual level right that is what the darakaraka is uh when i say spiritual i don't mean high level but why do i say spiritual specifically in in context of the gemini karakas because the gemini karakas deal with the soul the atma karaka dara karaka these are all the things which bind the soul to this body to this material world and the soul keeps changing bodies from life after life you know like um the subtle body keeps going and of course krishna says in the gita that i am there in every living being heart ishwara sarva bhutanam riddeshi arjuna tishthate that i am living in the uh, region of the heart for every living being so the parmatma lord vishnu the 400 parmatma form is always there with you even when you change bodies this is what the bhagavad gita says so therefore that is what the darakarka is that when from many many lifetimes how have you been seeing relationships at a spiritual level that is what the word darakarka represents now venus in your chart represents what kind of interactions will you be uh, having with the opposite sex or what is your outlook towards opposite sex in general or you know uh, love romance creativity luxury beauty and all this perfumes food or drinks and all this or your sexuality all all of these things are seen from venus but darakaraka is much more at a deeper level and venus also indicates uh, your spouse not directly which again doesn't mean if venus is in aries your spouse will be martian no not like that not in a million years <laughs> never say like this all right there is no planet in your chart that can show your spouse just not possible but of course the dasha lords can give some clue from where and how how the spouse is coming anyways that's a topic of for discussion for uh, for some other day but the thing is when you talk of venus here you have to understand that venus is the primary karaka for marriage long term committed sustained relationships okay the so venus shows the wife in a man's chart and it can also show your sisters or other females female interactions in a woman's chart also now the thing is when you talk from a marriage perspective venus is the karaka for spouse for both man and a woman okay it shows the conjugal bonding within the relationship for both man and a woman that's the common element for both man and a woman uh but now what does the dara karaka shows the dara karaka shows what is your what is the imprint from your previous lifetimes so therefore you have to understand that if your dara karaka 
is linked with your ascendant lord or with the houses of marriage or with the lord of the houses of the of marriage so for example if your dharakaraka is sitting in the second house or in the seventh house or in the eleventh house so suppose mars is your dharakaraka and he is sitting in second seventh or eleventh then he becomes equally important like venus or even maybe more important than venus why because you will meet your future spouse most likely in the, the uh, of course you may meet them in other periods but you will get married to somebody or to a person who you already know during the dasha of a planet which is somehow linked with the second house seventh house or the 11th house somehow in your bhav chart all right always all the nakshatra lord will be sitting in these houses so therefore suppose you have mars in the second house or in the 11th house and mars is your daraka for example then what happens during mars dasha you may find somebody with whom you might get married in in the dasha of mars or at a later time period also it can happen 100% but now what's happening is as a dasha lord or as a planet sitting in a particular house mars he is activating that house right but because he is mars so uh, he is also the darakaraka so the darakaraka is also getting activated and sometimes people think that oh darakarakas or the gemini karakas only get activated in uh, chala dashas because chala dasha is also a gemini sign based dasha so for example chala dasha says or oh, if your mars is in um, aquarius for example and your aquarius chara dasha is running so chara dashas are based on signs not planets your aquarius chara dasha is running and your mars is in aquarius and your mars is your tarakaraka then only then uh, then not only then but then mars also gets activated but don't think that in vimshotri if you are running mars antar dasha mahadasha then your darakaraka is not getting activated do not think like this so if your mars is in the second house seventh house eleventh house then he is not it's like he has a double role there he is giving you marsian experiences from the past and he is also giving you uh, this pause in this life okay so then he becomes very important and also if uh, your darakaraka is uh, conjunct the lords of these houses the second house seventh house then also he becomes very important he becomes even more important than venus and of course if the darakaraka is uh, uh, sitting in the uh, sitting in these houses like fifth house ninth house and if venus is not sitting in a house which is linked to marriage like say third house fourth house or eighth house or 10th house or sixth house or 12th house then the darakaraka even though he is in trines he also becomes very important even though the trines are not directly houses of marriage but they support marriage okay although the second seventh and 11th are the prime houses the direct houses of marriage so therefore you have to look in into your chart and try to see where your darakaraka is placed and then you see where your venus is placed who is more powerful as per that event of life so when you talk of marriage the houses are the second seventh and eleventh so who is more prominently linked is venus linked or is uh, the darakaraka linked unless venus is also your darakaraka then of course there's no competition there it's only one planet you just got to see so therefore this is how you check and once you know that so for example uh, as i said if mars is your darakaraka and he is placed in the 11th house suppose he is in aquarius for example then what happens that means you are a aries ascendant then he becomes your ascendant lord also right ascendant lord going to the 11th house extremely good placement now what happens is <clears throat> whatever experiences that shaped you spiritually related to relationships from your past which is the darakaraka 
which were all Martian relationships or rather Martian experiences rather. Why do you say Martian relationships? So there could be a lot of control issues, fighting, violence or anger, frustration, resentment, hatred uh, and all this. These are typical Martian traits. Now, how is Mars placed? That will decide did you had good experiences or bad experiences? Now, Mars is in the 11th house. That means in this life, Mars, Dasha, has the probability to bring you a potential life partner. But how is Mars placed? He's placed in Aquarius. Is he very happy there? Uh, not really. Uh, that's an enemy sign for Mars. Now, you may say, oh, Capricorn is also an enemy sign, but he's exalted. Yes, he's exalted in Capricorn because Capricorn suits the agenda of Mars. But Aquarius doesn't suit it to that extent. So he is not very happy there in Aquarius compared to the way he is in Capricorn, right? So this can show if Mars as your Dara Karaka is in Aquarius. So this can show that there may, your life, uh, how did you grow up? In matters of relationships, this has to do with other people, opinions of other people, some people coming in between and trying to you know break off your marriage and you trying to defend your marriage. These were the things that would have shaped your experiences, right? Now what happens, that same Dasha is bringing you a potential spouse. So then what happens is you become very concerned that maybe in this life also subtly, in your back, in the back of your mind, that's your programming. Or maybe in this life also, there will be so many people interfering in my marriage. Either it could be some other person who is wanting to be my spouse or maybe some other person who wants to be the spouse of my probable spouse. Or maybe my spouse wants to be with somebody or maybe I want to be with somebody else, right? Or it could be general friends, family members, anybody, or some policy of the government, something. These are the things represented by Aquarius, external influences, right? So, and then Mars tries to defend itself. No, I will defend this, this relationship. So, when Mars Dasha is activated in Vimshotri, from day one, you can start feeling as if, yes, there are too many inter there are too many people who are interfering in my marriage, in my relationships. And then if Mars is, you know, getting aspect of Jupiter, there may be positivity, the person may control his anger and the person may be able to go to the next level. But if, you know, some malefic like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu is again looking at Mars, it's like, my God, it's a very deadly situation. But yeah, if Moon or, you know, Jupiter, these planets are looking, then the scenario is different. There is forgiveness, there's understanding, there is settlement, right? Uh, there's inspiration and hope after defending and then the marriage also will be good because here Mars is in the 11th house which is not only giving you previous experiences of marriage but is giving you the spouse of this life also right so that is how you can understand if your Dara Karka is like in crude sense overpowering your Venus but don't think that it just dismisses Venus if it is in the second house, seventh house, or eleventh house, because Venus will always have its role. Venus will always tell you how you interact with the opposite sex. What is your conception about sexuality, romance, and you know, beauty, love, creativity, and all this? How 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 are you most likely to select a particular spouse, right? What are you likely to see in a spouse? These are the things which Venus can tell you. But Dara Karaka is the feeling that is inside you, that irrespect that is there in you, irrespective of how your spouse is or who your spouse is in this life or how your married life is, right? So therefore, when you are talking of events like wedding or uh, somebody is about to get married, then it's very crucial that you check Venus, not so much Dara Karaka. Dara Karaka also, but not so much. But then the Dasha Lords become very important. Planets in the 2nd, 7th, 11th or the Lords of these houses because they will bring you the spouse. But if somebody is asking you, how will be my married life for 40 years? 
then you must check the dasha planets of course and of course you must 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 check the daraka all right because that will tell you how the person is viewing relationships inherently internally and externally how are things playing out in the dashas right so therefore as an astrologer it's your job or my job or everybody's job <laughs> to figure out what insecurities does this person have have or what is he likely to uh, develop what is he likely to like in the marriage what is he likely to not like in the marriage what is he or she uh, very concerned about right what is what is that which this person fears or values very much within relationships so these are the things which the darakaraka will tell you because these are impressions of the mind which which is there in the subtle body from millions of lifetimes all right so therefore you have to understand that you have to see the darakaraka primarily when it comes to your entire married life like 30 40 years because that's where the real personality comes out and when you're talking of events then you check the lords of the second 7th 11th and you check venus because venus can also give you a spouse irrespective of where he's placed okay but of course if the darakaraka is placed in these houses then the darakaraka can also give you a spouse which can bring those uh securities or insecurities from your past lifetimes okay and then the relationship may be very karmic in a good or in a bad sense depending on the chart okay. but always remember it never happens that the darakaraka will come and you know dismiss venus or the venus will come and dismiss the darakaraka it never happens they always have their individual unique distinct roles to play in the chart all right so when you are talking of venus you should see it more from a gross perspective and when you are talking of darakaraka you should see it more from a spiritual perspective all right that is primarily the difference all right thank you very much for your patience if you want to see other videos on venus or planets from venus i'll put them here uh you could have a look at them and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and my website for consultations is also down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and uh, you will find him irrespective of how is your darakaraka or how is your venus thank you